Oh, I can actually see what a nigga look like. But yeah, this is what? Day one of my check engine light being on, I need to go to the store to get a few things like my ginger ale, my, basically the shit that ties me over in the morning until I feel like I can function. So I need ginger ale badly. And I need a smoothie so that once I'm actually not feeling nauseous, that I can uh, get at least some sort of nutrients that's not bullshit. But anywho, um, I don't know what that smell is. It might be gas. All right, let's start from the beginning. When I first got this car, it used to smell like fuel. Like when I first got in it until like, I don't know, maybe about, I give it about two, two to four months later of having this thing. And then it finally stopped smelling of pure fucking motor oil, gas, something. It was like a diesel -y kind of smell. Like maybe they put diesel or something in this fucker. And what the fuck are these trucks doing? Please don't be stupid. My car is being stupid too. But anyway, my check engine light wasn't on back then. I got into a small accident when I first got this thing where I wasn't going like, I was going like what, maybe? Well, actually we were parked or we were stopped at a stoplight. My car is missing something. There's something stops it from doing the stupid shit down low. I'm gonna try to have to explain all this shit to him because I know it's a part of the engine and maybe they didn't get that shit, all of it fucking sorted out. But if you take your foot off of my brake, my car moves forward. If you take your foot off of the Accord brake, the car does nothing. Let me repeat that. You take like, I brake, now I just remove my foot from the pedal, the brake pedal. I don't have to actually put my foot on the gas to go. See, watch, that's just me lifting my foot off the, uh, the pedal because this person's moving. So I don't actually have to gas it to move forward. That's how my car's always been since I first got this shit. I know that's improper because I've driven G8s that didn't have this issue. They weren't modified. Or I'm, well, I should say I, I drove them. I was in the car when they were driven because they wouldn't actually let me drive on these things. Whether it be like my, and on, the first thing I noticed is my car's acceleration sucks. Normally, my car can accelerate perfectly fine. Man, you know, get on the freeway. Just, well, I'm not going for it or anything. We're, we're doing basic Betty speeds this morning. Mainly because people think like, that's another thing. People know me for being somebody that actually drives pretty decent and quickly to get where I need to go. But it's like, I can't do that this morning, y'all. You wanna go around me, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's, whatever the fuck that is behind me, they're clearly trying to go around me. It's like, whatever, yeah. I'm not trying to speed this thing. I told myself I can't even go over 60 in this thing. I'm at 59 now. <laughs> but I have to get to the store. But anywho, from the beginning, the car's always smelled like some sort of motor oil, whether it be diesel or whatever. It didn't really do the ticking or the humming in the beginning or any of the, the, the rattling sounds, but it doesn't sound, like it actually sounds pretty decent. Like yesterday it was so, the, the, the knocking sound was so fucking annoyingly loud yesterday. It was actually me, making me go, oh, I might have to just drop this shit off today. Cause they gave me the info about my powertrain warranty. So whatever is wrong with my engine should hopefully be fucking covered and I don't have to shove out an arm and a leg for this shit because I don't have the arm and leg because my car payments do. And that's the arm and the leg that I need to pay for right now. I don't have two arms and two legs to give to pay for this shit. But yeah, it feels like it struggles to accelerate now. Like, or it does not struggle. It makes more of a fucking noise and it doesn't accelerate nearly as smoothly. Um, I do have everything on normally. I just shut the traction control off if that makes it better, but whatever. I'm not speeding or anything. There's the, the whoop, 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 whoop. That's just starting to come back. But basically, I need to make it to the store and back. Yeah, I smell like, I feel like I smell gas. 
slight smells of gas? I don't know what that means. Like, normally do I smell slight smells of gas? Like, I haven't really smelled fuel in the cockpit since the car was new. Whether it be get, no regular gas smell, diesel smell, any of that shit. I haven't smelled that smell since the car was, uh, since I first went to go get the fucking thing. Uh, is it an alarm? Is it, is it, is it, is it like it was in the beginning? No. Is it loud? No. Is it alarming? Not really. It's like, it's very faint and very small and short. I'm not going to be in here very long. And if it gets to the point where I feel like I need to, I'll just keep the window open. But yeah, my engine sounds like absolute hammer. I probably have to shut this fucker off. Actually, go into the store. I don't know if I'm gonna let it run or not. So I feel like if I let it run, it just sounds worse. <laughs> like a little more you let it run, the, the, the worse it starts to sound. So I'm probably gonna shut it off and I go in here. I'm gonna grab out a few little things and hopefully I'm gonna get back on the road and get back to the fucking house quick. Um, again, this is this is a little demoralizing. Because I don't know what the fuck it is. And they say if I had one of those fix it things that it would at least tell me what's wrong with my car. So I'm gonna have to deal with I hopefully they don't want me to actually pay them to diagnose what's wrong with my car. But I don't know what's wrong with my car, so I'm assuming they're gonna force me to try to pay them for a diagnosis. And then yeah, I'm gonna pull next to this shit to where I can actually just pull out so I don't wanna have to back. I don't have to back up. I'm already feeling a little emo. But my check engine light is on. We managed to get to the store, thankfully. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not bad as it was yesterday. It's not nearly as bad as it was yesterday because probably the car hasn't been on for longer than like a couple minutes. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to storm and get what I need. I'm coming back out. But I've been trying to verbalize the entire time is from the get-go my car has smelled like fuel does it smell like fuel now no but from when i first got it for like a couple months it smelled heavily of fuel um the 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 let your foot off of the brake and it automatically goes has been here since i first got it so when they modified this thing they didn't do it properly they didn't put a proper tune on it also this thing has since i got it since i've it's been in my acquisition it will randomly shut off which is giving me either something wrong with the motor something wrong with the tune um this car has been tuned by somebody where down low kind of sucks up high kind of awesome i also feel like this car was tuned with a manual profile I'm not sure why but that's just how it acts uh overall it's been a enjoyable car except for the issues like people don't talk about these issues on like if you try and find anybody that talks about ss or g8 issues you don't really find out all that often unless you find a forum well, i'm gonna openly talk about this shit the car was modified before i even got it so it's like you get what you get what it came with they put the tires all wrong they put the back on the front front on the back which resulted in the brakes not clearing properly. When Shire took this bitch for a test drive, it made this very atrocious grinding sound. They had to put the wheels on properly, then give us give it back for another test drive. They drove, we drove it back. Well, I drove it back, what, nine hours from the dealership, Jim Butler Kia. You can find that on the internet and figure out where the fuck that shit is if you want. But I drove it back nine hours. I barely made that drive back. I almost passed out twice. I didn't almost pass out while behind the wheel. I almost passed out because I'm smart enough to get off of the road. Like when you see what this car looks like, yeah, you know you're not going to want to risk this shit. Just, just general stupidity. I know the car is rebuildable, so it's more of a, am I going to be able to pull all this off? Because I don't have a sponsor. I have to come for this out of pocket. I'm not Alex Choi. No car companies give a fuck about me. So yeah. Uh, that's all I can really think of. I'm just rambling my, my incoherent thoughts and trying to put them into a cohesiveness because right now I'm still pretty meh and towards all this shit. I don't really listen to music. And normally I have my music on, so I have to deal with a lot of the. the oh, and another thing, my car has the, the engine has always shook the car. I wonder if they can fix that where it doesn't do that. Like 
it's cool and all, but I want like the, the, the download shit fixed. I want the, the where if I let my foot come off the brake fully, it fucking just goes. It's like the cord don't do that. The cord actually sits there till you put your foot on the gas to go forward or backwards. This shit's like, no, nah, you turn me on, you let your foot off that gas, I'm gone. So I would like if they could fix the shaking, the the engine light, obviously, and, and the let my foot off the brake shit. Like if we can get all this sorted, uh, I'll forego getting this thing wrapped and all that extra shit. At least until I hit the lotto. Once I hit the lotto, all, all bets are off. I'm wrapping this shit. And if I hit enough money, I'm paying for this shit. I'm calling it a day. Like straight up and down. I want to pay for this shit and get it over with so I stop having to worry about that at least. At least when the problem's coming, it's already paid for. At least we can handle it a little bit better. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll upload and record and upload the next part later. But this will be hitting the shelf soon.